Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Combat Corner, where we talk everything mixed martial arts, UFC, PFL, Bellator, BKFC, boxing, anything combat sports related. We are previewing BKFC 66 tonight at the Hard Rock Live in Hollywood, Florida. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can reach out to any one of these fighters probably and still get tickets. I don't know if they're available in the box office still, but fighters do sell tickets. So reach out, reach out for tickets, reach out to these fighters for tickets. I know they're preparing for fights at this point. Their weigh-ins are done, the whole nine, but they, you know, they do have teams surrounding them and they will probably can get you tickets because that is way part of how BKFC fighters get who get comp. So go out and support them. Let's just jump right on in as we will be in the building covering this event live. This event features 12 fights. Remember, BKFC, five, two-minute rounds. This goes by lightning fast. You have a three-card prelim. You have nine fights on the main card. Let's talk about the fight that everyone is going there to see. At the end of the day, it always comes down to the main event. Someone's O has got to go as Alberto El Indio Blas. Hailing out of Miami via Cuba is going to defend his championship against Royal Ryan Reaver. Now, we had a chance to interview Alberto Blas a few months back when he won the belt in emphatic fashion. We had an opportunity to talk to Ryan Reaver this past week as well. Both are great guys. I mean, very friendly dudes, you know. Don't get in a cage with them or a ring with them. That might not turn out too good for you. But genuinely, genuinely, both really nice guys. Both have worked really, really hard to get where they are at. Ryan Reber's story, if you haven't heard our interview yet, I will link it in the description because that was one hell of a story to talk to him about earlier this week. Well, actually, talk to him on Friday of last week, posted on Sunday. Great story. Great guy. Check out that video. Both of these guys are undefeated. Blas is 5-0. and Reber is 6-0. and Reber hails out of Connecticut. He lives now in the Tampa area. I think it's Clearwater specifically. These two guys are going to fight. Blas has not had a fight go past 72 seconds. His fights end fast. He comes out blazing. So there are questions. The questions are, can Ryan Reber make him go past 72 seconds? Can Ryan Reber provide some type of difference that he has, that Blas has not seen before? Can Ryan Reber extend him? That is the question. Because when Blas connects, Blas finishes people. And this is really what it comes down to. If Ryan Reber can extend this fight past round one, we've never seen Blas hit round two. And that's big because the way he fights, there's so much energy behind it. So you don't know. Uh, excuse me, real quick. Rub my eye. <laughs> you don't know if how you don't know what his cardio is. Ryan Reber's gone five rounds. Ryan Reber has had lengthy fights. He's had some bangers. Bloss has just banged people out <laughs> real quick. So you and and if you talk to Ryan, he is, he says that the competition he has faced is better than that that Bloss has faced, with the exception that Bloss obviously just beat just starched out the former champion in his last fight. But Reber believes that if he can take that he will take him into deep waters and he will finish this fight. And I'm sure Bloss believes he will do exactly what he's been doing and has run right through Ryan Reber. This is going to be an exciting contest. I am I would love to see this fight go past that first round. Because if it goes past that first round, I don't know what we're going to see. Because I know how Bloss will come out. He's going to come out blazing hard. Can Ryan Reber withstand that initial onslaught? That's the question of this fight. You know, it, it really, that's what it's going to come down to in this particular fight. We shall see. Both, like I said, both are good dudes. 
Both have worked real hard to get here. This is a different kind of sport, folks. If you haven't checked out BKFC yet, definitely give it a give it a give it a view. You can get if you're not in South Florida to watch this fight live. Check it out on Fubo, 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 whatever, Fubo Sports or on BKFC.com directly. Their pay-per-view package is for the entire year. It's like $50 for the whole year. I mean, think about that. You pay $85 to go watch a one UFC fight. You can watch every single BKFC fight, and they have a library of fights. So if, you, if you're new to it, you can check out so many fights and look at how these guys have gotten here. It's crazy, man. But um, really looking forward to that fight. Howard Davis, H.D. Davis. We interviewed him on Friday as well. So if you haven't checked out that interview, I will have that linked in the description for this. He's fighting James Brown. Not the James Brown singer, but another James Brown. This is an interesting fight because typically Howard has not faced, H.D. has not faced um, guys his height, 6'2". James Brown is 6'2". So you're it's, it's a different... It's a different type of matchup for, for HD because he's typically fighting guys that are shorter than him. Now, instead of having to jab down, punch down, he's going to be punching straight ahead. And it's definitely going to be a fun fight here. I mean, I've watched James Brown fight. Seems a little bit more upright, but a good fighter. I believe he's he's undefeated as well. 3-0. and HD is 6-2-1. and I was at HD's last fight. When he took care of business in two rounds, um, but that but this is an interesting fight because HD can fluctuate from weight. He can fight at one forty five, one fifty five, and fight at one seventy. He does have goals of winning belts at all weights. He did lose to the former, the, the, the current champion, King Kai Stewart, at one forty five, um, but that fight could happen again in the future. And he's definitely not ruling it out. He definitely wants another crack at King Kai Stewart. But this is going to be a fireworks. This, this fight will bring fireworks. HD is packs lightning. He throws fast. He throws hard. You know, it's going to be a nice, it's going to be a, an interesting fight because, you know, you have two guys, two guys that are 155 and six foot two. Like you don't have guys typically that at that weight, you know, um, at that height. It's going to be an enjoyable fight. Then you have an interesting one here. Um, is this the fight that I was looking at? <laughs> I think this is it. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> the third fight of the night is Steve Banks. <clears throat> they don't have weight limits really at PKFC. Dude is 290 pounds. 6'5, 290, 43 years old. Three and one. He's fighting Leonardo Perdomo, who's a fourth ranked heavyweight. He's four and oh. Nickname is El Zombo out of Cuba. These are some big boys. He's 263, but I tell you right now, when these two guys lined up together, Perdomo, Perdomo is 5'11". He looks small next to Banks. Banks is a big man. But, you know, in this stuff, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Whoever lands the big shot finishes the fight. I know another another fight on the card that um, I wanted to bring up because I actually am I'm, I'm friends with uh, – the guys at All In Management, they had another fight. They have, so Ryan Reber is under All In Management. HD is under All In Management. Shout out Victor Demesman, Demesman and Dover Law Firm, All In Management. Double Down, um, Double Down Fighting Fight Championship. They have actually, you know, they're involved with that, and they're that that they're, they'll have a fight card actually next month at um, the Tamiami Fairgrounds where uh, Miami Dade County, Miami Dade Youth Fair Exposition, Exposition Center, which is on 107th Avenue and um, between Southwest 8th Street and uh, Coral Way in Miami. So definitely be on the lookout for that next month and do go, do go get your tickets for that because these are up and coming MMA fighters. And this is where they start. They start these smaller promotions with the hopes of being seen by the bigger promotions like the, like the UFC, obviously the UFC. PFLs of the world, Bellators of the world. Um, but you got here uh, AJ Rodriguez. This is a fight at uh, what? What's the weight for this fight? One thirty-five. They're a bantamweight as well. He's fighting against. Let's see, Demeco Labon. So Demeco Labon. So we have a fight there between those two. Labon is two and zero. Oh. Rodriguez is one and one and zero. Oh. That fight on the as far as. 
the bone is a pretty sizable favorite in that fight. And you know, the funny thing is that the fight that I just mentioned with Banks and Perdomo, Perdomo's like minus nine ten. So he is 5'11, 263, and he is a humongous favorite over Banks, who's 290 pounds. Yeah, that's how it rolls, man. You know, there's another fight here we got with um this which is another fight right here. Saw this guy fight last time as well. So this will be, I think this will be a good scrap right here between, um, because I've seen these guys fight. This one between Jeremy Smith, number two cruiserweight. He's uh, from out of South Africa. He's three and two, nicknamed Pitbull. You know, uh, he hasn't fought in a while. He hasn't fought in a year and a half, though. So, you know, I wonder how he's going to do after being out for this long. He's fighting against uh, Stephen Townsell. I saw Stephen Townsell fight in, uh, in, in June of last year, actually, no, I saw him. Wait, was that? I saw him in June of last year, and uh, tough guy, big guy. I mean, he's three and four. He's forty-four years old, man. Guy has fight. He's a fighter at heart, and he will bring it. He's gonna fight, you know. So, definitely another fight to check out. That's a pretty even fight when it comes down to when it comes to the uh, the odds. It's a pretty even fight. Let's see who else I have on here that jumps out at me. Actually, I, there's a fight here between a guy named uh, Joseph White. He's one and one. He's actually fighting a guy named Kendrick Myrie. Now, Kendrick Myrie, um, these are guys are both heavyweights. Kendrick Myrie actually used to train, from what I recall, at Black Zillions back in the day. I used to go to the Black Zillions gym. So I used to see this guy there all the time. I'm pretty sure he was at the Black Zillions. I recognize him. I'm actually friends with him on Facebook. So um, he must have been at Black Zillions. It's been a minute, though. This is his first fight in BKFC. He's 41 years old. He's looking for another opportunity. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this fight as well. But anyhow, again, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, I'm sure you can still grab tickets. Call, Look, at these, look up these fighters on DMs, on Instagram, and see if you get tickets from them directly because it does support them. So do jump on board. Come support this fight card. And if you don't see, if you're not here to see it live, check it out on Fubo, Fubo TV or on BKFC.com. These fights go quick. They're they're quick. They're exciting. They're I mean, fireworks, man, it's fireworks. So check it out. BKFC 66 Hollywood Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hard Rock Live tonight. Doors are open. The first fight is at 7 p.m. Be there. Come on now.